Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the only function. So the only function is not so very popular function within the click view and sometimes even a little bit difficult to understand at the first time if you are encountering it or trying to understand it. Because first of all, uh, it's very simple function but because of its simplicity and the result that it provides, it feels us wondering why we really need it if we have other things like uh, if functions which I will going to explain uh, about the different uh, methods through which you can achieve the similar results as only function. So let's move on to understand a little bit about what it is. So as the name suggests only function uh, it returns only one value but in case if it has or it is returning more than one value then it returns null. So here in a small example, I have uh, two fields like in country, I have India in city, I have the different cities of India. So if I'm using only function and providing the parameter country, then it is only resulting India because it just has one value. So it, it's basically aggregating the, this detailed value and providing you the one result India. But in case if you, the city I'm providing as a parameter for this function, then it is returning null more than one value outside of the parameter of the uh, only function. So in simple way it just provides one value and in case multiple values then it provides null. Then question arises that uh, we can use even the uh, if function. Uh, let's say for example if we are trying to do some kind of a conditional evaluation where we are giving only country inf information as a condition then we can use even the if condition. But uh, that with the if condition, the problem is that it is resource incentive and uh, resource intensive, and uh, we need to use it very carefully because multiple if uh, uh, statements will going to slow down your application. That's that's one thing I have seen, uh, and uh, in that case, uh, on providing uh, this function only country or only with this parameter gives us a little bit better uh, performance as compared to the if function. For a second case, let's go to our ClickView application. So here is a ClickView application that provides uh, or that has a similar metric which I showed there. But now I have two more columns like BU and sales. BU is just business unit or a financial unit you can say and some code is given. And the sales that is being recorded against in these cities for this BU. So Sometimes what happens is uh, you just want to keep one value or the one city value as your threshold. Like for example, in this case, Kolkata has done the maximum sales. Then you want to keep this as a threshold. Like, okay, in Kolkata is, is basically a threshold where most of the sales are happening as kind of a KPI or something. And uh, put it there at the top visible so that everybody who is landing on the dashboard page will first see it. Okay, Kolkata is basically a threshold for us. So in that case, if I go to this properties, how we can specify is uh, either statistically, like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, static way that Kolkata is 400, or providing this only function where we are saying that, okay, so within the set expression, so yeah, this only function also has the capability of specifying the set expression that the city is Kolkata and we need to dynamically determine what the sales is. So if sales is changing, let's say for next month, it will going to change uh, again here. So in that way, we don't have to come back again and again into the text box and specifying statistically, let's say if I want to do like here, I have it this value as static, right? But if I don't want that, then I need to use this only function where I can provide the sales and see that I'm not aggregating the sales, I'm just providing the field and it is populating the field value. And that usually does not happen if you just normally give the sales over there and, uh, and uh, you know, try to display the value. So let me just remove it from here. So that's another way uh, in which you can specify or I have used it to, to basically show the value of one parameter or of one field value which we see as an important thing and should be displayed all the time on the dashboard. The third thing is uh, another creative way uh, to use the only function. So here in this dashboard, I have multiple tables and here are the field. So dollar field is basically a system field 
uh, which contains or which has the information of all the fields which is present so let's say for example country country is present here city is present here bu is present here sales is present here somewhere down there so all of this field information is present into this dollar field system field value so what i can do is i can create a dynamic list box out of this uh, these values these system field value and that will going to keep the uh, or that will going to generate the different list box as soon as i click on any of this uh, field value so let's say if i like click on city then this box shows me the city value another thing if i let's say select year value and it shows me the year value so what it is doing as soon as our selection is happening here the selection is basically going in in there utilizing the only function and this dollar field and populating the results for you so it is helpful in such scenario where you are uh, uh, in need of such a list box which is dynamically updating its value and uh, you don't want to use a lot of space on the left hand side or on the right hand side of the uh, of your dashboard or a report but just utilizing the one list box and uh, or two list boxes and dynamically doing the selection so if i just keep on selecting the different uh, fields it shows me the values over here and i can further select it so if i let's say select city i can select select kolkata if i let's say select year and 2009 2009 is selected now you may be wondering that previous selection is gone but that's not the case so to verify that if i go to new sheet object go to current selection box and just click ok see here earlier i selected the city kolkata year 2009 now if i let's say select the employee it is selected and let's say uh, this time i select the salary and uh, if i select uh, 10,000, then salary is selected 10,000. But previous is gone because it was an exclusive or excluded list. Similarly, uh, if I go to employee, now those employees who are related to salary 10,000, I can select, let's say K. So it's K selected. So, so your selection is not going away if you are doing a different selection over here because this is providing you the result that current selections are these ones which you have selected. So that's another creative way. So I'll just go into the properties. I will first show you how I have choose the field, this one field. So this is mentioned in expression. So if I go into the edit, what I have done is simply equals to field and it is present uh, here in the all tables and generally present here, but uh, currently not. So how else you can verify this thing so just click ok click ok so if i go into any of this chart right click on the properties go to dimension and just select the system field show system fields so it was not present i think over there so but here you can see that you have dollar field uh, which is basically a system field so that's what i have specified over here in the list box if i go into the edit expression yeah so right now okay this one here is another checkbox here i need to click and then it will show me the field value so that's what i've just specified and as i click ok it gave me the list values but the maximum thing or the magic is happening here where i need to right click go to properties and this is a little bit tricky because here we need to use the dollar sign expansion to to expand the selections that we are doing with the help of the only keyword so what it is saying if we go from the inner expression that choose only one or return only one field right and then expand it using the dollar sign expansion that means the value that is present in that field which you are selecting so if i just click okay okay here this is what it is doing as soon as i select the investment that dollar sign is basically expanding the 
investment field into its values or showing the values which is present in the investment field. So that's a quick catch that uh, uh, you you need to apply when you are doing this kind of an arrangement. But that has uh, uh, that's a good uh, I think uh, way to use uh, um, yeah, or efficient way to use the list box. So that's pretty much all. But before I move on, I have. Uh, just one other quick thing that uh, if you are not specifying uh, let's say for example here BU is present if I just clear everything BU is present multiple times here I have shown it in the expression and if I just right click go to properties and see I have just mentioned the BU right and it has done nothing but it has simply repeated the same value so even I am here not specified the only function but uh, this uh, click view has implicitly defined the only function so that's a good thing to know it's not a very major thing but good thing to know that click view implies uh, or implicitly implies the only function even if you are not specifying so if I just change everything here and put only BU there will be no change just click apply and there is no change that shows that even if you are not specifying the only function click view implicitly applies it and shows the result to you because that's what it understand that if you're not specifying it and it's a static value this is what you want to do it so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic